My name is Zach McMullen. I'm a welding engineer for Miller Electric Manufacturing Company. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to fabricate a firewood rack for home use. I'm going to weld it together using the newly redesigned Millermatic 211. So two of the biggest things we want to keep in mind when we're building this is we want nice tight fit up for our weld joints for ease of welding. And we also want to keep everything as square as possible. So I got some magnetic squares on here, keeping it nice and square. I got everything fitted up nicely so my weld joints are nice and tight. The table is very flat, but I did had, had a little bit of curve in the tube, so I did have to use a clamp to hold it down tight. So before I start tacking, I'm going to set up the advanced features on the auto set for the 211. I'm using a C25 gas, so I'm going to set my process select knob to C25. I'm using an 030 solid wire, so I'll set my wire size to 030, and we are welding on 8th inch material, so I'll set it for 8th inch material. Now that the base is all welded up, I'm going to go around and grind each of these welds down to give myself a nice flush face to mount my post to. So now that the base is all welded up, the next step is to attach the feet to it. So I got one foot already attached here being held on with magnetic squares. I used a square to align it with the squares holding in position. I'm going to go ahead and get this tacked onto the base and then I'll attach the other three feet and then once all four feet are tacked on, I'll go back and weld them on solid. So the next part of this project is I'm going to build the post for the log rack. There's going to be one of these on each side of the rack. I'm going to apply the same principles as before, as doing my best to keep everything square and keeping my weld joint fit up the best I can. So now that we have the base completely welded up and both the posts welded up, it's now time for us to attach them. So I got the first post lined up right here. I got it all squared up. I got two very strong magnets holding them in place for safety. I'll go ahead, I'll tack them on. Once I have this one tacked on, I'll go ahead and tack the other post on. Once that's tacked up, I'll weld the thing solid. So here we have our completed log rack. This was a fairly easy project to do, especially with the newly redesigned Millimatic 211. With the MVP plug, I was able to plug into either 120 or 240 power. It was nice and light, lightweight. I was able to pull it right up here on the table and just start working right away. Uh, so just to kind of summarize what we did here with the log rack, we started off by just tacking the base together, then welding it all up. We added the feet, and then we built the posts, and then we added the posts to it all after that and then we just welded everything up and we're good to go. So for more project ideas or more information about the Millermatic 211, visit millerwelds.com. <laughs>